Hi guys, welcome back to the vlogs. Today is Thursday and this week I'm actually going to be doing another daily vlog. This week has just been so crazy busy and kind of hectic. Um, so I didn't have the time to actually weekly vlog. So I thought I would do another daily vlog. So like I said, today is Thursday and I got up pretty early this morning to kind of catch up on work and emails. I had my weekly touch base call with my manager, Emily, which was great. We talked for probably like an hour. We had a lot of stuff to cover today. And now I actually have an appointment for PF Jeep because you guys know I just got my Jeep like last week or the week before. And so I have to go into the dealership today because I had this appointment booked when I bought the car um, because they're just like waxing it and like detailing it or something like that. So I have to send in my car for the day, which is actually kind of sad because I'm gonna miss her. I'm gonna miss her for the day, but they are giving me a loaner car so I can still get my stuff done today. So yeah, I'm literally about to run out the door, but first I thought I'd give you guys a little outfit of the day. It's a super chill look, but hold on, I'll show you. It's honestly like such a chill outfit because today is kind of like a running around hectic day. I didn't even shower this morning. I just put my hair up in a ponytail, but I'm wearing this oversized Bahamas Hawaii band t-shirt. It's actually from Free People, which by the way, I'm gonna be doing a haul in today's vlog with all the Free People stuff that I got because it is so cute and I'm obsessed. Um, and then I'm wearing these shorts from Nasty Gal. I'm just wearing my New Balance sneakers and then just my tote bag and my absolute favorite YSL sunnies. Is that next week? And, so and, no, not next week, sorry. Two weeks, but we also check with dad and everyone. Okay. Okay, so we're giving her back for a day or two, they said. And this is the new car for the next few days. She's cute, but she's not PF Jeep, that's for sure. Bye, I'll miss you. Okay, so I just got the new car, and like I said, the PF Jeep is gonna be at the shop for like a day or two, hopefully not more, um, but they obviously gave me like a loaner car for the next 48 hours, um, just so I have something to drive around and I'm not like stranded without PF Jeep. But it's so sad, you guys, I'm in this new car and it's so different, I got so used to the Jeep so fast, and I'm obsessed with her. So this is just so sad that I have to now give her up so soon for like two days, which is fine, it's not a big deal, but I just didn't realize like how much I loved PF Jeep until now. Anyways, I'm going to head back to the apartment now and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I told you guys um, I would show you guys the rest of the stuff that I got from Free People, um, which included this little t-shirt that I wore today that I'm obsessed with. I posted on my Instagram stories and a ton of you guys asked for the link. So of course, I will link everything in the description for you guys. And I'm so excited to be partnering up with Free People um, to bring you guys today's haul. Um, I love Free People. I've been shopping at Free People probably since like the sixth grade and honestly it's one of my all-time favorite stores in general to shop at so I'm super pumped to work with them and yeah I'll have everything linked down below so let's get right into it well of course I have to show you guys oh hi pips <laughs> um, of course I have to show you guys this t-shirt um, it says Bahamas Hawaii and it's just like this oversized vintage looking band tee which I'm obsessed with so I love it I think I got it in a size large i got it a size large um because i wanted it to be like that oversized comfy vibe so love this guy we'll have it linked down below next thing i got are some jeans and i've actually been wearing these um a ton on my instagram i think i posted a couple photos in them already and i wore them in my last two vlogs as well ever since i got them in the mail i've just been like wearing them on repeat because they're like my dream pair of denim they're actually some levi's and i got them in a size 24. they are the high rise loose shape and like i said i'll have them linked down below of course with the exact fit but i think they're so flattering they're super high rise um and i think that just like oversized boyfriend loose jeans are super in for summertime always just super comfortable and chill and like a relaxed fit is just super cool right now so I am obsessed with them and I'm so glad I got my hands on them. So I'll link them below for you guys so you can get your hands on them too. Next up, I got a few little tops. So the first top that I picked up, I'm so beyond obsessed with it. I think it's so cute. Um, it is this little tank top, knit tank top, I guess you could say. Um, on the website, they styled it um, layered with like a t-shirt underneath that I thought was super cool. But obviously for summertime, I think this with like a pair of white jeans would be really pretty or just some denim shorts and some white sneakers. Um, it's just like such a fun little look. And I always love experimenting with different colors and patterns for the summertime. So I thought this would be really, really cute for August. 
um, and I'm obsessed. So I got this guy in a size small and I think it's so pretty. Next up is another little top. I guess you could say it's more of a cardigan, I guess, but you guys, I'm telling you this trend of the little mini sleeveless cardigans are coming back. I remember wearing these back in the day um, and I really never thought it'd come back, but all of a sudden it's cool again to style these little sleeveless cardigans. Um, obviously it has a little twist on it now and it's more elevated, um, but I would totally style this with like a button up oversized t-shirt or long sleeve shirt um, and wear this on top with the boyfriend jeans like this would be such an adorable look so so I got this guy in a size medium like I said I wanted it to be a little bit of an oversized look um, and the colors coming off a little bit more brown on camera but in person it's more of like an olive green which I think is really pretty and I think it's gonna transition really well into fall as well so, so I'm super excited to style this piece honestly over the next few months it's gonna be super cute um, going into fall so love it okay next up you guys is the most pfg piece of clothing i've gotten in a while and they're definitely out of my comfort zone but i was so obsessed with them that i wanted to definitely try and style them and make them my style so there are these bright pink pfg bell bottoms and like i said bell bottoms and like flared jeans are totally coming back into style and they actually have been in style for quite a while now so i thought i would put a little twist on it and make them at pfg they're like this corduroy material which i think is super cute and then the band is like an elastic band which is really nice and i just honestly think that bell bottoms are so flattering and so fun to wear and i think i'm gonna get um, some great wear out of these and make a really cute outfit so I'll keep you guys updated on how I'm gonna style these um, but I think it's gonna be really fun and super cute um, to style for like the end of summer and for these guys I got them in a size 24 okay next up I got another t-shirt um, kind of similar to the vibe that we have going here um, but it is this kind of oversized um, it's almost like a jersey in a way because it has the 93 on the back um, but it says Hermosa Surf Club and you guys know I love surfing and I just like love that like beachy vibe That's totally my aesthetic So I thought it was a really cute t-shirt to wear to the beach to throw over your bikini Or just to kind of wear on chill days kind of like today with the Bahamas Hawaii shirt I ended up getting this guy in a size medium because it's already said that it was oversized so I didn't need to go up to a large since as you can see it's quite a large t-shirt. It's honestly just such a good addition to all of my band t-shirts because I can't get enough. Okay next up I actually picked up some little biker shorts um, and they actually come with a matching tank top which I don't know if they're actually supposed to be styled exactly together but they are the exact same material so naturally I'm probably going to style them as a little set. But it is this little white tank top and these white biker shorts. Um, and definitely not everyone would feel comfortable wearing little white biker shorts, but I think they're gonna be so cute And I don't have any white biker shorts. I always get black So I thought it'd be really cute to wear this little matching white set And I don't know if you guys know this but free people literally has the best little camis. They're super famous on free people I feel like everyone owns one. Um, they come in like a million different colors So I'll have the style of cami linked down below But basically they're just like the perfect little crop top with like little string straps which is always nice and delicate to wear and like very dainty. I just love the way they fit and they're very, very stretchy material. So I always try to get myself one of these like every few months to get myself like a new fresh one, if you know what I mean, because I just like wear them to death. And for both of these pieces, I got them in a size extra small, small. Okay, next up is this huge oversized knit and I've actually styled this and posted it on Instagram already and you guys all freaked out over it. I think because I don't usually wear this color in comfort zone, even though I absolutely love this color I feel like I just need to put myself out there more and wear more color like this I think it's so pretty it's like the prettiest mint green um, and I got it in a size medium because I wanted it to be like a super super oversized knit sweater and that's exactly what it is and I could be more obsessed and I think again for this piece I think it's gonna transition really well into fall too and I think it's just so cute so I love that I have this guy um, for my knit wardrobe because you can't get enough knit okay and then last but not least I picked up another sweater since it's kind of the end of summer or it's beginning to be the end of summer sadly to say I'm starting to think ahead and think of fall so I got another sweater which I think is so adorable it is this peplum crop top giant oversized sweater 
as you can see like the sleeves are like bell sleeves with obviously the peplum on the bottom area of the sweater so I actually did get this in an extra small even though it is so big it looks like it's a medium um, I got it in extra small because it is super super oversized and that's just kind of the look of the sweater and I just think it is the most adorable and just such a good sweater to throw on um, that you're still super comfortable obviously but it kind of has that like fashion twist to it because it has like the peplum detailing the bell sleeves and the edges are kind of raw I don't know if you can see but it kind of adds a little bit of a cute touch to it and I'm low-key obsessed so yeah I'll have a link down below so those were all of the pieces that I picked out from free people I'm obsessed with all of them of course as per usual I'll have everything linked in the description for you guys in case you guys are interested in shopping any of these pieces and if you guys want to see how I style all of the pieces from today's haul, um, make sure to follow me over on Instagram. I feel like whenever I do hauls on YouTube, I'm always styling the pieces over on my Instagram, probably like that following week. Um, so if you guys kind of want to see like my visions come to life over on Instagram, definitely follow me over there if you guys haven't yet. But yeah, now I'm going to put everything away from my haul. But thank you again, free people, for partnering up with me and making today's video happen. I am obsessed with all of my pieces, so I will have them all linked down below oh hi pips she's in such a weird mood today you guys look at her whenever i bring out my vlog camera today she's just all up in the vlog camera i think she likes the attention so now i'm going to hang everything up and put everything away um but i will catch up with you guys in a little bit okay so i obviously just got home and pippa's being so needy right now Hi to the camera. Are you gonna say hi to the camera? Okay, bye. Okay, so I just got home and I just got hello. Pippa. Pippa. I actually came home to a big package. Um, that's very exciting. It's actually a piece of furniture and I feel like I haven't gotten a new piece of furniture for the apartment in a little while now So I thought I would do an unboxing or a little reveal here on the vlog um, Because I'm very excited about them so. so I literally just got it from downstairs and the UPS guy was so sweet and brought it up for me because it's a little heavy So I'm gonna unbox it Okay, so I ordered some new kitchen island stools. You guys know we originally got these when we first moved in and we just needed something to sit on, but I knew they weren't gonna be like the forever chairs. Um, even though they're super comfortable and super cute, um, it was never like the vibe I was going for. So I decided to pick these up. I'm obsessed with them. It's like this really pretty, I don't even know what you'd call this, but it's like a wood um, textured back. And then it's all wood, but obviously white. And I just think it's more of the look that... I was wanting to go for it from the beginning. I just couldn't find some that I loved. So I think they're gonna be super cute and replace these guys. I just think it looks super cute in the kitchen. Um, the only thing is only one of them came in today for some reason. So I guess they're shipping separately, um, but I did get them to replace these guys. So one I guess is gonna be coming in the next few days, but I think it's super cute and definitely goes with the vibe that I'm going for. So I guess to give you guys a better visual, this was kind of always the vibe I wanted to go for to bring in some lighter wood colors. Um, and then it obviously kind of ties in with the little Chanel painting. Um, and then it kind of just flows better into the living room. So I don't know, I really, really like them. Obviously I have to wait for the other one to come in, but as you can see, like the old ones were just so white that it just kind of made everything kind of plain, I guess. So this brings in some texture and I think it's, super cute what do you guys think let me know okay so it has been a little bit and now i'm going to be getting ready for my little dinner that i'm going out to with my two girlfriends um and i thought i would do a little get ready with me because i feel like i haven't done a get ready with me on the vlogs in a very long time um so i thought it'd be fun to do that tonight like i said it is very odd to kind of put on makeup and cute outfit and be able to kind of go out for dinner nowadays so so it's always fun to do this so I thought I would film it for you guys. Okay, so I decided I didn't want to wash my hair. This is like second day hair. Um, but I didn't feel like washing it because I wanted to do like a sleek ponytail look. 
Um, so I thought I would just go in with my um, dry shampoo and give it a little spritz. I'm using the Batiste dry shampoo. It's one of my favorites. Oh, I thought I would do that. And then I'm also gonna put in some texture spray um, and a little bit of hairspray. And I'm just going to do like a full sleek ponytail look. So to sleek it back and kind of give it some more moisture, um, I'm gonna go in with the Gizu um, Honey Infused Hair Oil. Just a little bit of it because my hair is already pretty oily. Um, but this is just to kind of give it some extra shine and like tack, I guess, to it. So I have a full YouTube video on how I do my sleek ponytails. Um, I'll have it linked down below for you guys if you want to re-watch that or if you want to watch it if you haven't watched it yet. Um, but I do like a full breakdown on how I do my ponytails and like my claw clip sleek buns. Now that my hair is parted and sleeked back into my ponytail, I just went in with the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm, one of my favorite lip balms or lip glosses. And I like to go in with this before I start my makeup just to make sure my lips are hydrated. And then for primer, I'm gonna go in with the Neostrata Mattifying Serum. It's literally my favorite serum to make sure that my skin stays as matte as possible throughout the night. And also, um, it's just good to prime before putting on your makeup. Okay, and then next up, I'm gonna go in with my eyebrows. I always do my eyebrows first, which is super weird to some people, but for me, it's just the norm. So I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Brow Gel. Um, it's my favorite ever, and it's like the dip brow pomade, um, and I use it in medium brown. As you can see, my eyebrows are super light, so um, for me, eyebrows make a huge difference, and I hate leaving the house without them, to be honest with you. So as you can see, like the difference is so crazy. Um, like I have pretty like thick eyebrows. They're just really light. So I always like to shade them in. Okay, so now that my brows are complete, I'm gonna go in with my foundation. And you guys know my favorite is the Dior Backstage, Backstage, the Dior Backstage Foundation. And it's been my favorite for almost like two years now. I just love it. It's like not too full coverage, super natural, um, and I just like to hate the feeling of cakey makeup. So it's just really good to even out my skin tone but not make me like full cake face, which is nice. And you can like still see my freckles and everything. So, oh, hold on, Sophie's calling me. Hi. <laughs> Okay, so now that I put on my foundation, I'm gonna go in with the NARS Creamy Concealer. I've been using this concealer again for so long. Um, I use it in the shade Creme Brulee. And I'm just going to kind of cover up my blemishes and my under eye bags. bronzer and I'm going in with the Chanel Le Beige bronzer in the shade deep and this is like my favorite bronzer ever it's so pretty and so bronzy it makes you look so glowy I think it's like the prettiest bronzer ever it's a little bit more of a steeper price point obviously but I totally think it's worth it and it just gives you such a pretty glow and then next up, I'm gonna go in with blush and I'm just gonna be using this Chanel blush, Chanel blush number 23. Um, it's so good. It's like my favorite shade of pink for blush. It is a creamy blush, which is new for me. I used to always do powdered blush, um, but I just think for summertime, it's so pretty to use um, creamy blushes. I think it just goes on so pretty and it just makes you look very glowy. And I just find it's like more natural. 
Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the Dior Glow Face Palette, and you guys already know, this is like my favorite highlighter ever. I use it all the time. I've been using it for a really long time as well. We always talk about it, me and the girls, we like are obsessed with this highlight. It's just so pretty and really glowy. It just gives you that like natural glow. You guys know I'm all about that. And then next up, I'm going to set my face with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting, I just butchered that, Translucent Setting Powder, which is a crowd favorite. You guys probably use it as well. It's like one of the top um, powders. And then to set my makeup, I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Again, have been using this for so long. I feel like when I like a product, I repurchase it. A lot until I find something better so that's kind of my motto and then for eyes I never really do eyeshadow you guys know I'm not really an eyeshadow girl I'll wear eyeshadow like once in a blue moon but since tonight I'm going out and we're you know getting dressed and looking cute I thought I would do kind of like a faux winged liner with some eyeshadow from the elf cosmetics rose gold rose gold sunset um, eyeshadow palette I usually go in with this shade here or this shade down here, so I'll probably use this one. I don't know if you guys can tell like the subtle difference, but I just put like a little bit of a shadow eyeliner, and then I'm gonna go in with my mascara, which right now I'm using the Benefit Roller Lasher, such a classic. Um, I've been switching up my mascaras a lot late lately just to kind of try some new ones out, um, but I really like the Roller Lash for a more like natural lash. It's definitely not clumpy. Um, and it just kind of goes on really nicely. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is just after like a few coats of mascara, like super lightly. Um, but it also does help that I've been using my um, Eye Envy Serum every once in a while still, um, just to kind of continue my lash growth since I got my lashes taken off, so. Okay, so that is basically what I'm gonna do for my makeup. It's honestly super light, but I mean, in the summer, I don't tend to wear a lot of makeup just because it's nice to keep things simple and light and fresh and glowy even though that's kind of my vibe like throughout the entire year but and then I just reapplied by the way my summer Fridays lip butter balm on top because it's just such a good gloss okay so now that I am done my hair and makeup I'm going to go figure out an outfit to wear and like jewelry accessories and all that good stuff and by the way, if you guys are wondering, which I always get, usually get questions on this, I am wearing the Skims Cozy Collection robe, and it is literally the best robe ever. It's so cozy, obviously, um, and just so soft and comfortable, so highly recommend if you guys can get your hands on it. Okay, so I'm thinking of maybe wearing this outfit. Um, this top's from For Love and Lemons. Jeans are from Free People that I just hauled, actually. They're like my favorite jeans right now. It's definitely a jeans and a crop top kind of night, so um, this is the first option. Okay, or I have this one here, which again, is just like a little white crop top, but it's super cute. It's from Aritzia, actually, and it's just this like little ruching detail. Um, and it's obviously a crop top just tucked in. Um, but I think this could be also a cute outfit, but what do you guys think? Okay, or I have this little gold top, which the best part is the back. It's like this little tie top. I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, so I literally can't decide. So usually when that happens, I just ask you guys on Instagram. So I just took a photo of each top that I just tried on for you guys here on the vlog. And I'm going to post it to Instagram stories and do a poll and see which one you guys like better. And whichever one you guys like the best, I'm gonna wear it tonight. Okay, so I just did a little segment on my Instagram stories and asked you guys what I should wear. So this was the first option. This was the second option. And this was the third option. So I'm gonna give it a little bit, maybe like five, 10 minutes and see what the final result is. And then I'll know exactly what to wear. Okay, so this top definitely won um, the poll by a landslide. So many of you guys voted for this guy, so definitely wearing this top. But then one of you guys suggested I wear um, something tighter on the bottom because my jeans were a little bit looser. Um, so I took your advice and I decided to put on my more like tighter fitting white jeans, which I thought would be really cute to do like an all white look. And then for my shoes, I just put on my little Dolce Vita sandals, um, which I got off of the Meta app, which if you guys follow the vlogs and you are 
already know. Um, so this is going to be my little outfit tonight. That is super cute. And it was really fun getting ready with you guys on Instagram. So maybe I'll do that more often if you guys enjoyed that as well. And then, of course, to finish off the look, last but not least, we have a stunning queen mask to match our outfit. I'm wearing this little reworked um, designer dust bag. It's a little Chanel designer dust bag. Um, and it was obviously reworked into a mask. And it's actually by one of my good friend's little businesses that she does. Um, it's like an at-home business she does with her mom. Um, I'll have it linked here. It's so cute. And she does masks and scrunchies and stuff. So I'm always repping her masks, but I think they're just like super chic and cute and like a great way to like elevate your outfit. Um, so of course we'll be bringing the mask with me. So I'm gonna head out to the restaurant now. I think I'm gonna go pick up the girls um, first and then we're gonna make our way there. I just got home from the restaurant and it was so much fun. Um, it was so good. The food there is stunning queen. I don't know why I've never been before. It was my first time trying out this restaurant. Um, and if you guys are from Vancouver, I would definitely recommend trying it out because it was genuinely so good. We got so much food. I'm so full. Um, but it's pretty late right now. So I'm just going to take off my makeup. I'm being really lazy tonight. I'm just going to use my makeup wipes. I'm just using these simple, they're called the simple brand, um, cleansing wipes. Just like take my makeup off because I'm being lazy tonight and these are so good. I actually just recently discovered them, but they pretty much just like take off my makeup super well and easy and they don't irritate my skin. And usually when I use makeup wipes, Oh my god usually when i use makeup wipes um it makes my skin break out but i haven't had a breakout since i started using these so highly recommend so i'm just going to take off all of my makeup and then i'm going to probably watch some tiktoks <laughs> and then go to bed Okay, so Pips and I are officially ready for bed. I am so pooped. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. Thank you again so much for watching. And I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.